In their November release, QuickBase added a super easy way to add color to your reports. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. Gone is the need to write out complex case formulas to color code your report rows. Let me show you how. Here I have a QuickBase with sample HR data. Let's open the report we want to add the color coding to. With my report selected, you can see there's no easy way for information to stand out. In order to tell whether an employment status is active, inactive, terminated, etc., it's kind of hard to tell. That's where the color coding can help out a lot. Let's look at the customization. What's now been added is at the bottom of these options under the section for color coding. Notice the option to assign a color to choices in an item in this dropdown. The first option here is departments. Let's select it and see what happens. You see it's assigned a color to each of the choices in the departments field. The department field is a multiple choice type field. It's assigned a color to each of the choices. There are six here and it'll assign up to a maximum of 10 colors. Let's see what happens when we have a multiple choice field with more than 10 options. That's the case with employee source. Employee source has many more than 10 options, as you can see in this list. However, QuickBase will only assign choices to the first 10 options. So you'll have to watch out for this one. If you wanna do more color coding, you're gonna to have to write the formula out. There's the option for that at the bottom, and I've got a video for writing the formula out too, and you can check it out on the QuickBase Junkie blog or on the QuickBase Junkie YouTube channel. Let's look at the employment status field. The employment status field only has five options, so that's great. It's assigned a color to each of these five, but maybe these aren't the colors that you want to have assigned to these five. You can choose a color by clicking on the color box and selecting another color. You can also enter your own hex code for any color you choose. There's a couple of colors I know, like dark gray or black, although I don't actually recommend using really dark colors. You could also even enter white. If you know the color for your company's branding, you could use those colors as well. If we don't want to have any color assigned to one of the choices, we simply need to click the minus sign and that'll delete it from our list and a color will not be assigned. Let's choose some colors for these. Future start, we'll make that yellow. Leap of absence, let's make it orange. Terminated, dark gray, voluntary terminated light gray. And click save. Now in our report, we see that all the active employees do not have any color coding, but those that we did assign a color, such as voluntarily terminated, terminated for cause, leave of absence, are all color coded per the colors we selected. And we didn't have to write a formula to do it. You can assign a color to address fields, email fields, text fields, multi-select fields, and multiple choice fields. These should all show up in the dropdown in the customization options. There isn't an option for color coding on an item like a checkbox, which you may want to include. In those cases, you will need to write a formula. There's one other thing I wanted to mention. If I go back to my home page, the report here does not have any color coding. And the reason for that is because this report is based on the default report and the default report does not allow for any type of color coding. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial of this new feature of a super easy way to color code your report rows. If you did, leave me a thumbs up in the comments below. If you learned something new, please like this video, and to get your regular QuickBase Junkie fix, subscribe to QuickBase Junkie on YouTube or visit QuickBaseJunkie.com.